Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, everybody, where I'm going to teach you everything I know about tutorials. How does that sound? Today, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to do a tutorial. How does that sound, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to teach you how to teach, and you're going to learn how to teach. You're going to learn what it's like to learn today, because today is Tutorial Tuesday, and, uh, we take Tutorial Tuesday very seriously. Shout out to Chad's a pro, the not real Tomazakre, Danix more napalm, Uvia Glava, Yova Glava, absolutely math, Kentertainment, Brian Ziga, Stefano, Nectarvos KNK. What's up everybody? Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. You already know, Tutorial Tuesday is a little bit serious, a little bit funny, a little bit of a serious endeavor to learn more, and also at the same time, just a good time to laugh and have a fun time with friends and maybe meet new people on the way. Probably not, because it's online and, you know, I, I doubt that, you know, it's actually happened. I don't want to, I don't want to say it can't happen, but, uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, first subject for Tutorial Tuesday is what is Tutorial Tuesday? So I started this series one week ago, last Tuesday, and um, we're gonna be here every Tuesday doing tutorials. You catch my drift? So make sure you guys tune in every Tuesday. <coughs> Oh yeah, Nicholas Galgo. Definitely not every Tuesday, actually. You're right, that's a crazy promise. But I already know that next week I'm going to be going out of the country for a little bit. I have a big project that I'm working on. So anytime that I'm at home, Tutorial Tuesday is a go. But maybe, you know, the days that I'm not home, I should just upload a little tutorial video 
otherwise a live stream right before bed what's up just con so uh do we have to do this today good oh yeah we have to do this i like your pink lips to be honest you know what i uh don't know what to say back to that one well what uh, well, will we be able to uh, do i watch aot i don't know what the hell that is so probably not <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to open it up to the chat, you know, open it up to some questions. If you guys really want a tutorial on any specific things, I'm here. I'm seriously here. You can ask me. You can ask me what's up. Hi, bro. Nice mustaches. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Okay, so uh first thing I saw was uh polyrhythms. So first we got a before we learn polyrhythms, we got to learn what a rhythm is. So rhythm is like a feeling of repetition of time. It's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. It's like a feeling of time where you fall into a pattern. To, and there's different types of rhythms, tons of different types. And a polyrhythm, if you don't know what poly means, it pretty much means multiple. Poly could mean five, it could mean six, it could mean a million. Poly means more than, you know, more than two, I'd say, more than three. So, when you put the words polyrhythm together, what do you get? Two or more rhythms that are on top of each other. Now, I think doing more than two is a little bit crazy. You can make it dope, but doing more than two as a solo beatboxer is going very out. Poly rhythms. This is just me. This is my. I would do one layer with my mouth. And I will do one layer with some throat kicks throat kick type stuff mute mic what what do you mean don't know what you got muted can't hear you the sound sound is cutting out i don't know why my sound is cutting out what mic keeps cutting out what's going on here it's cutting a little bit your mic keeps cutting out sound is it good now the sound whoa 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 I think it's when I don't talk loud enough honestly so uh Oh, no, we're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're bright as fuck. We're bright. Okay, so here we go. So the polyrhythm. I explained, uh, you know, we got poly and we got rhythm. And then you put them together. That means more than one rhythm on top of each other. So what does that even mean? What are two different rhythms? And how do you put them on top of each other? What the hell? So it's easier said than done. Or it's easier done than said. It sounds easier than it is. It sounds harder than it is. Yeah, it took me four tries to say what I wanted to. So, uh... Yeah, guys, so you're going to want to do one layer with your mouth sounds. And I think to start off, you actually want to do something very simple rhythm-wise. So we're going to do a simple boots and cats, but with a... So that's a very simple rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So one, two, three, four. 
Wait. Okay, so there's a t couple different ways that you can go about it. I think uh, the way that we're going to do it, actually, because it's easier for me to do, explain, is um, I'm going to do the first layer with my throat kick. It's the simplest way that I can explain it. So that's going to be the bass beat. And then the sounds on top of it, you can change the rhythms of the sounds that you put on top of it. Not necessarily change the rhythm, just do a different type of rhythm on top of that throat kick with other sounds. But it fits the rhythm in a different way. It can be a 4-4 four, four beat in another way, but on top of this beat, it can be like thirds, or for example. So check it out. No, I fuck up whenever I try to do that. Yeah, so it kind of, um, what happens to it is, uh, it goes from like a normal four, four beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. But then you put sounds on top of it that change those four rhythms into something else. So whenever I put those drums on top of it, it turns from a 4-4 four, four into a 6-4. Now that's not very complicated because it's just actually, I wouldn't even call that a polyrhythm as much as like changing rhythms fast in, a, in an interesting way because there's not two rhythms. The, the kick drum... Is more of like a metronome than it is the, another layer, but it also works as another layer because you got that constant kick. It's not it doesn't sound like a metronome; it sounds like a kick drum. So if we did some more crazy things with that, that's more of a rhythm in its own. That's fucking hard to do. I'm trying to come up with things, you know, on the spot and it's polyrhythms are the kind of things that you want to practice a lot, you know, things that you, um, yeah, you really got to like think and micromanage where the sounds go. Um, it's hard to do it on the first try, but like, yeah, I guess a couple that I do that I could actually do <laughs> is that, that one beat. So that's, yeah, it doesn't make much sense. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm good at showing what it is. You know what I mean? So a lot of the times, complicated beatbox polyrhythms, there's two different ways that people do it. Like Alex Inho straight up does like rhythms on top of one another and like different French beatboxers. And that's more of like a, I don't know. It works for solo beatboxing as a, as like a, I don't want to say a gimmick, but like as like a trick you know, but, uh, I feel like when it comes to actual solo performances, you want to do it more in, in nonchalant type ways. You don't want to be like, look, polyrhythm. You want to put poly little bits of polyrhythms over top of your main rhythm, you know, kind of like that beat. Like it's definitely a trap beat. <laughs> watching this instead of getting ready for school hell yeah man that's the way to go the click roll i honestly don't know how to do it that well ogex the way that i do it is i take my tongue 
and I fold it over one another. So this say this is my tongue and this is the roof of my mouth. So I take my tongue and I kind of fold it over itself a little bit. Pull back. Pull back pressure. It's a really weird sound. And I don't do it well. I don't do it good at all. So there's there's different ways to do it. And I'd recommend asking somebody else which is funny i mean welcome to tutorial tuesday first of all you know but seriously like in terms of click rules the way that i do it it does not sound that good and i i will admit it right now i know how to do it it's it's about you know getting that uh getting that vibration with the tongue inward but can't do it i mean i'm doing it but i'm not good at it i have not seen dilip versus zeka yet so don't ask me about it and don't tell me about it. How to do your newest bass? Which one are you talking about? What's my newest bass? Wow, wow. He said, What the fuck? You're a judge? <laughs> Look, man, I, I know I just can't do click rolls. It's an advanced sound. It's considered an advanced beatbox sound. And me not being able to do it, I know it's kind of it's kind of whack, but I don't think knowing how to do click rolls should determine judge status or not. Because one sound doesn't define your beats. It doesn't. But I should learn that slizzer roll. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen Dilla versus Zeka yet you're the judge I know we're not supposed to watch them yet we're supposed to watch them we don't have our decisions yet we're supposed, supposed to watch them soon I think we get them I don't love them because they're very situational. I have to be, I don't know. This fit him, fit him guy is hilarious. No, I don't think I got the wild cards yet. Um, but I will. Don't worry. Whoa, booty bap, bo, 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 bo. I know my mic is back. I don't know why it keeps doing that. The mic's fucked up. Audio come to die. The weird thing is, it's never cutting off for me. It doesn't cut off for me at all. It's only like this connection. Yo, 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 hold on. I'm just going to make sure that we're good. Make sure that we're good. Wow, this dude is spamming. Lord Dilly. Is it plugged in, right? Yeah, it's plugged in. Of course. What's up, Artsy? I just, I'm just using the loop station right now. All I have going on is my mic going into my loop station, a little bit of dynamics, Brighton, and that's it. And that, that's plugged in directly to my computer. No preamp, no nothing. <laughs> a triple clap. That's a good sound to learn. So. For the triple clap. The combo is going to be a foreign sound combo. Yeah, I'm being a little bit quiet because my neighbors were getting pissed earlier at Gene for being pretty loud. So that's why I'm not like yelling, being like, whoa, like my speakers are pretty, pretty low. I'm trying not to be too loud. My neighbors are getting pissed at me, all of us. But anyways, the triple clap. It's going to be a four sound combo. 
First sound, kick drum. Second sound, non-hollow clop. Um, I was on Ableton, but yeah, I just don't have that set up right now because I, I wanted to loop for the past couple streams. But anyways, I am a subscriber. Subscribers should not be treated this way. But you're weird, man. You're not nice to me. You're rude. Anyways, um, so the first sound, kick drum. Second sound, non-hollow. Third sound, it's going to be a, a clop down in the back of your throat. So this is done by kind of gagging, you know, and opening up your throat and creating a sound out of it. Third sound, last sound, is the hollow clop. Shout out to Stevie. Napalm head ass. Maybe if I snorted faster. It's over with Stevie, but shout out to you. Shout out to you coming in with the donation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. This is Tutorial Tuesday, and we're here just trying to help everybody get better at their freaking beat bopping. Bro, I've been beatboxing for eight years already, and I realize I've been doing this combo wrong the whole time. There's no wrong way to do anything, Artsy. You know this. <laughs> say how do the vibration bass vibration bass is a little weird it's hard to explain what's up Hershey sounding wet very moist <laughs> welcome to tutorial Tuesday ladies and gentlemen today we're learning And I keep forgetting the questions that I talk about. Um, I'm retarded. Teach us that tech combo. And no, no artsy. It's it's too too advanced. Honestly, you got to know a lot of different sounds. I'll teach you individually. I'll teach you. But I think a lot of people in here are gonna be like, "What the fuck, man? No way." Anyways. Vibration bases, I think, are a little bit easier. It's more about experimenting. So for vibration bases, you want to make sure that, first of all, you have one normal base. You need some sort of normal base, some something, like whether it's just your voice, uh, whether it's a uh, a throat base, uh, whoa, whoa. You need something because vibration base, I think. Uh, Vibration bass is pretty wide, like range wise. There's a lot of different things that I would consider vibration bass. What I consider it to be is doing one bass and then adding another oscillator on top of that bass. So, for example, I have like ah, and then I add another oscillator on top of that or like for a different bass whoa <clears throat> you whoa. that one's not coming through very very good whoa 
Wow. <clears throat> Whoa, wow, 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 not coming through perfect, but uh those are the two that I can do. And there's no straight up way of teaching it, I don't think. I think the best way to go about it is to start off with normal bass that you're pretty comfortable with. That you can like I don't know, experiment with without destroying your voice and making yourself hurt. And then experiment to try to find different ways that you could shape your throat and your mouth to get another oscillation on top of the original bass that you're doing. And I think you're golden from there. Like for me, it's not like I learned either of the ones that I can do. And I'm not saying that mine are like good by any means either because they're not honestly that comfortable to doing beats but uh anyways i think um yeah once you get that original bass you want to experiment try to get another sound on top of that usually it's lower most of the time actually probably a hundred percent of the time the other oscillation uh, it feels like it's lower but maybe not a hundred percent of the time that's not true but yeah, that's about all I got to say about vibration bass. Okay, multiple spit snares. That's an easy one to answer and an easy one to do, I think, if you can do the original spit snares. What's up, Tong? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? How's your day? But, all right, on to uh, multiple spits, because I think multiple spits are pretty damn easy once you get the spit snare. So, first of all, you got to be able to do the spit snare. That one, I'm going to teach it right here, right now, in a very simple way. I think uh, it's a little bit different for everybody everybody makes it a little bit of a different way so like if you don't get it with my explanation try some different ways because uh it's a it's a weird sound you know it's hard to give one explanation that works for everybody but basically i do it two different ways the first way that i do it is with my bottom lip a little bit over my top lip and i'm not necessarily pushing it like that i'm not pushing my bottom lip over my top lip the reason that it gets over is because I put a lot of air in my bottom lip, just like you would fill up your cheeks with air. But I just fill up my bottom lip. And then naturally, by filling it up, my t- bottom lip goes over my top lip a little bit. And then I let out that air as hard and fast as I can. Not all of it, just like a nice little controlled. And then it empties eventually, like you see, it runs out of gas. Runs out of gas. That's why you would just do one. For the other spit snare that I do, I put this one is a little bit easier muscle wise and requires less effort. So I go from my normal face, put my bottom lip into my mouth under my top lip. And I just push out air fast. super easy i think that one's easier um so in terms of multiple snares i do two different techniques with the two different spit snares so with the first spit snare that i showed it's easier to do triple spit snare slash tk so with that i'm going and then pushing out no i'm just kidding That one's an illusion. It's so easy to do once you got the spit snare. So once you get that spit snare, you want to keep that face exactly how it is. Don't don't change your face. And you want to do 
behind it. That's just me going behind it. So normally it's you're not breathing when you do that. When you go ticka ticka, you start to use your lungs. So it, it's a it's an interesting way of you know projecting. It's different. The other way that I do some multiple spit snares. I have not seen Dilla versus Zeka yet. We're not. We haven't watched it as judges yet. We have to wait. So I haven't seen any of it. Um, the other way I do multiple spit snares is uh, by putting my bottom lip over my under my top lip, like the second way that I showed. So for this one, I think it's pretty easy to do some crazy techniques with this because all you got to do is uh, and then go right after. And then you could turn that into a lip roll kind of thing. Like. it i know i got a little sidetracked with my own beatboxing right after but yeah that's basically it what is the second sound all it is is close your lips open them up real fast put that pressure <laughs> got it down thanks bro no problem I'm glad you guys, uh, you know, can learn a little bit from these streams, you know, take, uh, take these streams and, you know, learn a little bit. That's what Tutorial Tuesday is all about. All right. Artsy says, what would you say makes a drop hit hard other than good structure? So I shouldn't, uh, mention structure at all because that's what makes a drop hit hard. Obviously, like, I feel like the other things are pretty obvious, but if I don't talk about structure at all, like, you know, maybe like a good bass, you know, like a interesting musical tension and release. I don't know. It's all about the energy, you know, um, cause you listen to some, some songs, you know, some trap songs or dubstep or whatever. Sometimes the buildup makes no sense. And then it drops crazy. Sometimes they're perfectly in harmony together. And it's like, it's sometimes, yeah, the, there's like no buildup and it's just like, uh, you know, there's so many different ways to go about it, but I feel like the best way that to view it is tension and release. Cause no matter what you're doing, you're building up tension, building it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Holy shit. It's about to blow. We're about to blow. And then boom. Boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like all about tension and release is good drops. You know, if you can really build up into something and release that tension in such a creative way, like that's what makes a good build up and a good drop. Um, which honestly, I don't see many beatboxers doing nowadays. Like a lot of, it's very fast paced, you know, there's not like, uh, like, yeah, really long buildups into a crazy drop in a creative way. Like not that people weren't structuring. Well, I'm just saying like actual, actual music, like D Lo, for example, it's more fast paced goes from one idea, rocks that and then to another, but like, what makes a drop really crazy in actual music, maybe not in, even in beatboxing, because it's hard to tell what people are into with beatboxing, you know? Like, some people are just in it for the sounds, crazy sounds. Some people are in it for the rhythms. Some people are in it for the... Not, I'd say those two things, honestly. For the music part of it. Some people are in it for the music, more the singing side. Those three things. Um personally been looking at biscuit because the structures are really good 
Yeah, his, his structure is dope. I think, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely a good way to look at it, the way that he does. You know, he does exactly what I'm talking about. He, do, he doesn't necessarily, like, he'll start off with the pretty, like, good ideas, but he doesn't blow his load until he builds up that tension. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know my wording is hilarious. But, uh, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, really do it until he builds it up. You don't start off with your craziest thing. Even technique wise, you know, you don't start off a beat. <laughs> unless if you're going to keep going up, up and up and it's not too much for the listener. Because sometimes like you don't want to start off a song and instantly take people into madness you know sometimes you do sometimes it's not a bad thing like starting a beat off instantly it's like okay now we're here okay but it depends man it's all about communication how are you trying how do you communicate what you're trying to do in the best way possible that's really what it is what do i think about antilt i think he's great i honestly like it's weird how I feel about Antil. Like every time I hear him, it's like fucking dope. But it's like I can't remember a single beat. There's not a single beat of his that I've heard that like really stuck with me. You know what I mean? Where I feel like duds. Like you, you can remember his beats, remember his melodies. You know what I mean? That's just me personally. I know that's probably not the case for other people, but like. You feel me? Do I miss battling on stage? Absolutely, I do. It's one of my favorite places to be. Not even just battling, just performing, man. I miss being on stage. I miss beatboxing on big sound systems. You know? Nice subwoofer, shit like that. Whoa, booty bap bap boo boo bap boo. Boo Polyphonic double voice. It's a funny way to spell polyphonic, but. You didn't need the K. <laughs> it's not Nick, like the name Nick. It's just polyphonic, just the C. Um, yeah. I don't love the sound, to be honest. I don't love it. I'm surprised that I'm going to teach it. But this one's kind of similar to uh, how I talked about vibration bass. It's like you start with... I don't know. There's a, uh, that's, it's weird, man. I don't, I don't really want to teach it that much because I like, I don't want to say that there's no use for it because I've heard people do it and it sounds fucking dope. But at the same time, I've heard people do it and it sounds not dope. In my opinion, my humble opinion, there's only like two people that I enjoy actually. It's motherfucking, uh, motherfucking uh i heard this girl do it in one video super dope and uh i also like how akinde does it so basically it's you you strain your voice to the point where you get another like kind of like an old man voice whoa whoa and then you're able to get another tone on top of it but there's also different ways to get those different tones it like depends, you know, there's different ways to go about it. Kind of like, a, um, kind of like vibration bass, you know, like there's, you can go into it from different types of voices. Like, <gasps> that's the one that a lot of people do. <gasps> you can almost hear that second note. <gasps> it sounds painful. I know that's why I don't practice. <gasps> It doesn't feel painful. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like it and I don't do it much. But it, um, in terms of practicing it, like I said, it's kind of like vibration base. Like you can go and do it from different types of voices. Looks cringy, mate. That's what I'm saying. Like I, that's why I don't do it much. But once you once you get it, yeah, there's there's a couple dope ways that you can use it. But yeah, I don't like practicing it. It doesn't feel good to practice. So, ladies and gentlemen, now we're reaching 
the, my favorite part of Tutorial Tuesday where I turn up the lights a little bit. How you doing? If you didn't know, I'm a pretty white fella. How to do hemoglobin. First you take your hemo and then you get your globin. And then hemoglobin, 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 wop wop. Aditya Singhi. I'm going to put that video up eventually, I think. I'm going to wait, though. Maybe till after the kickback. Because I don't want to put that up and then... D-Lo wins. It'll just give people a reason to be like, Oh, he favored him already. I'm not saying that he's gonna, but he could. You know what I mean? And I don't want that... I don't want people to get pissed at me. I was just doing it for fun. Either way, people are going to get mad at me. No matter what. What do you think about the future of looping? I think it kind of became a live electronic producing battle and not any more beatboxing related. Hmm. I mean, that's not... Not a horrible question and not a horrible way of looking at it because it kind of did. You know, some of these people... They, like the loop station has certain effects like this one hold on <laughs> wait Oh, yeah. So, like, that sound, for example. Like, you're beatboxing to make it. But, like, yeah, at that point, you're not just looping beatboxing. It's, like, certain effects that allow you to make synth noises, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not, like, saying that that's a bad thing at all. But I see what you mean. It's, like, it's more like a producer battles when you have these different things and i'm just using the loop station like some of these guys that got this crazy equipment like the helix like it's literally you go and it's a synth you know which i'm down to watch it because it's fucking dope but it's not it doesn't have the same energy that loop station battles used to i'd say because yeah there's less human element in in it but the music is fucking dope so you can't you can't get mad at it Yo, Nape, after this check on my new loop video, I added trippy effects over it, and I rapped You Were My Inspiration back in 2016 when I started Hell Yeah Smoke Beatbox. Thank you, Jason. Laying down the law. We need more Azel. Azel is going to be huge. Wow. Maybe he is, Sylvester. Maybe he is. hollow lip roll or teach us any hollow combos I can't really do it that well that's but if you consider that the hollow lip roll then yeah I can do it pretty well hollow combos it's hard to say Hard to say for hollow combos. Can't think of any straight up combos with the hollow. But there's a couple different ways that you could do hollow stuff. Do you know of Jacob Collier? Hell yeah, I do. Talented motherfucker. 
In fact, way better than me. He can't beatbox, though. But, man, I don't know much about music. In terms of terminology. Yo, Napalm, I got a lot of beatbox sounds down, but I don't know what beats are good to learn first. Any advice? Mali Baki, I got some advice for you. First things first. You got to figure out what sounds you know. Like, figure out, have control over that stuff, you know? Really learn your drum kits and how you can put them together. Make sure your sounds can be combined in any which way possible, comfortably. You want to be able to do this sound, that sound, this sound, that sound, consecutively, without slipping. And uh, when it comes to making beats, you know, I think, think about some simple genres. You know, you gotta, you gotta, what is it? You know, hip hop, trap, drum and bass, reggaeton, house music motherfucking folk music you know you got these simple 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 genres that you can think of what the beat is drum and bass you know and just kind of slowly fill up that sound the more you keep doing it just keep keep filling that sound up but focus on the simple rhythms first that's what's most important <laughs> that's what's most important guys that's what's the most damn important simple rhythms and then after those simple rhythms you drop some advanced rhythms and then people understand what you're doing <laughs> Thank you, man. No problem, Mali Baki. Yeah, and I'd say at the same time, you know, like, I'm not in the drum and bass music. I'm not saying I'm not. Like, I'll listen to it and I'll bop my head to it, but I don't listen to drum and bass, you know. I don't sit here and listen to reggaeton. I'm not in here like, in my room on a tu normal Tuesday. I'm not doing that, you know, but I know the music. I've experienced it. I've lived in Brooklyn. You walk down the street, you go to the bodega, they're playing that shit. Where that's where these beats kind of get inspired from. You know what I mean? I've been to music festivals. Where they play house music. You know. Knowing how to do these. Certain genres. Actually. Knowing what these. My mic's good right. My mic's good. Yeah. So knowing how to do these certain. Sound, or genres. Or, or knowing what they represent. Energy wise. Is very important. <laughs> Yeah. Big shout out to Smoke Beatbox. Thank you for being dope. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much to Smoke Beatbox. Smoak. I don't know how to say it, man. Smock. But shout out to you, man, coming in with a $2 donation. I'm here for the live stream. I'm here for you guys. Just my internet then. It's the second time the audio disappeared. I think it's YouTube, honestly, because whenever it's happening, I, I see nothing wrong with my setup. It says that I'm still getting audio in. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
think you were the monster on stage. Is so much confident, really humble too. Thank you, Ilbunio. I just, I just do me, man. I just try to be the best me that I can be. What's my favorite solo beatboxer? I'm not really sure, man. Uh, it's hard to say in this day and age because I haven't seen anybody perform in a really long time, and that's usually how I base my favorite beatboxer. Is like who can move me the most in person. <laughs> How many kids does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many? <laughs> when is Napalm and Jang Z going to be a real thing? Like in a battle? I don't know. Whenever this damn pandemic is over. And he's from China. I'm from America. It's not so easy to get together and just practice for a battle that you probably won't win and not make any money at anyways, you know. So it's kind of not easy. <laughs> Who do I think would win in a battle? Toma Zachary or Bathico? Not sure. I think it depends on uh, how clean Bathico's beats are. I think Bautico's beats are more complex, but Thomas Acre sounds better. Boo, moody bat, boo, boo. Boo, moody bat, boo, boo. I'm trying to learn demon bass and lip roll bass, but I haven't found any tutorials on them that work for me. Well... Demon bass is just, uh, I don't know what you're trying to learn there, you know? Like, I don't know what bass demon bass is. I don't, is it? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, demon bass, it's, I don't think it's necessarily something that you want to be learning. Because when it comes to communicating as a beatboxer, like, is that what you're trying to communicate? That you're a little demon? I'm just asking. I'm not... I'm not be, trying to be mean. I'm just saying. Like, I think, uh, you know, you want to think about a little bit your sounds. Think about what you want to sound like. Think about how you want to communicate yourself to another, to more people, you know. I don't know if learning a demon bass is the best way to do that. Even, like, something like lip rolls. I think lip rolls can be a useful thing. But, like, I think... uh you want to think about how to communicate your style, your sounds, your energy to a greater audience. And I don't think Demon Bass is the best way to do that, homie. I don't even know you and I don't think it is. I think you're nicer than that. I think you're probably a better kid than that. You know, I don't think Demon Bass will... But it makes you sound like a dirty minion. Can you do nose bass? Every time I try, I throw up. Yeah, I don't like it. It's just a snore. Like, imagine being in a room full of people. Just like, they are all, they all enjoy music. They all enjoy, uh, yeah, just jamming out, you know, with one another. And they're like, yo, man, come hit the mic. And you're like, cool. I just learned this thing last night. And they're like, oh, yeah, what's, what's that? Demon bass. Yeah. They're going to tell you to get the fuck out of there immediately. They're going to say, homie, get the fuck out of this jam session before we throw you out. And... You know, that's just the way that it works. Have some fine wine and cheese, and yeah, here's some fucking demon bass while you're at it. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that it's not a good sound, because obviously there's crazy sounds that I do when I get into it. <laughs> like, there's, you can be crazy. You can be weird. Beatboxing is weird. It's about being weird. I'm just yanking on your chain a little bit, just tugging your sack a, a tiny bit, you know. 
But at the same time, what I say is true. You want to be learning sounds that help you communicate who you are. And if demon bass is the sound, then it is. But uh, I think you want to focus. You want to focus. You want to focus hard. What is going on, Isaiah Peterson? How are you doing? My G. My G, how are you? Who knows how to do brick bass? What the hell is brick bass? Roll like this or dip. I mean, if I had to choose, I wouldn't. Please don't tag my sack. <laughs> Can anyone here do plumber bass? What the hell are you bass? What are you guys talking about? After learning basic sounds and some beginner sounds, what's the next step? What are the next sounds? Where should I go from there? The inward K. That one is definitely necessary. Um, I think different snares, absolutely. Spit snare, cough snare. Different snares can give you different sounding beats. Also, maybe some different kick drums. Different stuff like that. You know, different hi-hats. Different stuff like that. Um, obviously, you know, beats. Doing different beats. Man, why do people have to spam? Like, what makes you think that that's going to make me do it? Do you really think that spamming it? Do usage of the useless. Do usage of the useless. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do usage of the useless. The one that you did against d -Lo. Do usage of the useless. The one that you did against d -Lo. Please, do it, do it, do it. Do the one that you did against d -Lo. Like, fuck off. Quite simply. <laughs> if that's how you talk to people, don't, please. This is Tutorial Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Centriosity. Um... Let me let me pull up your question because it goes a little bit too fast for me to read. Um, what is it? What battle should I get involved with when first getting into the battle scene? Been beatboxing for ten plus years. Well, that's a long time before getting into battles. Well, um, where are you from? I think that's the question number one. And go to whatever's the closest. You know what I mean? I think. Uh, yeah, the best way to go about battles is just doing it. You just got to do it. You got to go for it. You know, the first battle that I ever did was in 2012. I won the top 16, won the top 8, lost in the quarterfinals or semifinals to Spencer X, and then lost in the battle for third to Heaven. You know, the next year I went to the same battle from Seattle, Washington. Okay, that makes a difference. Um,. Yeah, I mean, in-person battles at the moment aren't happening in America. So I think uh, maybe looking into some, like, simple Discord battles. I know there's, like, the Beatbox Community Discord page. Um, and there's tons more. Like, looking into some of those to start off is definitely good. Um, but once stuff st starts opening up, you know, try to travel around America a bit. Go to some different stuff. Hey, Neil, have you taught any girls and ladies to beatbox? And what do you teach them? A lot. I teach them a lot. I'm just kidding. The same. Um, it, it doesn't change at all. It really doesn't change at all. I think um, a lot of the times when I teach, I teach based on the student, what their, you know, what their interests are. Um, shout out to Bill, you and Jez. I will get to your guys' messages and questions just in a bit, but this is a good question with girls. I think girls can honestly learn the same exact things that men can, maybe with a little bit of limit on that, because obviously we have different voice palettes, different types of muscles. Men have the Adam's apple, but I think at the same time that allows girls to do different sounds than men can, you know, absolutely hundred percent they can. So I always teach my student boy or girl, no matter who they are based on their style and just try to upgrade what they can do already, you know, so that they can be themselves. That's what's most important. Okay. Getting into two donations that we just got big shout out to Jez and Beloy. So Jez says TKK tutorial been struggling with inward rim shot. You scratch my back. I'll scratch your balls. 
<laughs> and shout out to Bilauli. Bring the party. Shout out to you, man. I am a party. <laughs> oh, you're 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 funny, Jez. Stop spamming people. Oh my gosh, can't read anything. Thank you to Isaiah, man. Thanks for doing that. Um. So TKK, very easy. For this one. Okay, so first of all, like this whole thing with rim shot versus inward K, I have no idea what the hell the difference is, you know, because to me, they're both inward Ks. Like inward K is doing a K sound inward. And a rim shot is a is an actual sound on a drum set, you know. So what's the difference between the two? There, there is no difference. Oh my gosh! Stop spamming, guys, please. Um. So, uh, for the TKK, I do the normal inward K where it's up there, and the TKK is simply T. Normal K, like you're talking, king, king, talking. So TK and then inward K. And that's basically it. Um, moving forward from that, there's even more. Oh, shout out to Fut Danny and Sash Sashil J, both coming in at the same exact time with two different donations. Love from Germany, love straight out to Germany, and big fan from Saucy Jav. Thank you so much to the both of you. I love you. We're getting too many spammers in this freaking chat. It's pretty annoying, but we make it work. Third world problems, right? Um... We need some light up in here. Whoa, booty bap bum boom All right, we're pink. Um So yeah. I think I answered everybody's question, right? Right? So yeah, for the TKK. Um, we're going to take it to the next level. So you're going to do BKTK and then MRK. So with that one, you could do a lot of different things with it. To start off, you can change that initial B sound with an F sound. You could do a PF snare. Instead of the hi-hat, you can do a CH. Instead of the K snare, you could do a cough snare. You could do a PF snare. No matter what you choose to do, keep practicing this and eventually you will use these concepts in every single beat that you do ever. I hope that answers your question. Teach us how to air bend, man. I'm not Aang. Aang, gang, 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 gang. Prop. Fade, prop, prop. Fade, prop. Fade, prop, prop. Fade, prop, prop. Fade, prop, 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 prop. What do I think about Starsky bass into tongue, into lip bass? Like, <laughs> What do I think about it? I think it could be really cool. Definitely hard to do to transition in between every one of those sounds clearly. But at the same time, I think it's a good vision to have. Like, that would be sick. If you have that idea, push and do it until you can do it. And you'll be the best at it. You know, you'll be the literal best. Um, 
Booty booty. We got a lot of questions coming in. Yo, Mr. Prom, after I learned inward bass, I thought I should learn another intimidating sound. And being 5 to 10 at 12 would make life kind of easier, but I, I get what you mean. What? I have no idea what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> uh, shout out to you. Peace out, Josh Leslie. Um, Dr. Nape, give me some loop advice, please. Shout out to Jarvis. Stay chill. I'm always chill, Jarvis. Shout out to you, Jarvis, coming in with the $1 donation. Um, Loop advice? I mean, keep it simple for yourself. Obviously, the first beat that you make is the most important, you know? There's a lot of different things that you could do on a loop station in terms of settings, in terms of, like, you know, yeah, settings mainly, you know, change everything. I think uh, to start off, you want to want to give yourself some proper layers so shout out to razid edits thank you so much for the five dollar donation to razid edits man thank you so much thank you we're here for tutorial tuesday teaching everybody everything that i know about beatboxing um jez cheers i was just overcomplicating the inward rim shot yeah that sound is weird man i don't, I don't understand what the difference is between a rim shot because some people say like k -k 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 is a rim shot k -k -k, but that's just an inward k, k in your throat that's a normal k -k 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 -k. that's just the inward k literally k -k 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 -k. and then k -k -k. that's like an inward k up in your cheek that needs a different sound but they both sound like a rim shot you know like if come on a drum set they're both rim shots i'd say which is the really confusing terminology for that sound. It confuses me. It pisses me off. Can I explain the DJ sound? Which one? DJ. 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 That one? Because that's the only DJ sound I know. DJ. Spin that shit. develop heavier bass with lip bass i'm struggling help me please develop heavier bass with lip bass um treat your mouth as a synth treat your mouth with care treat your mouth with extreme details that sentence doesn't make any sense. Treat your mouth with respect. There's so many small different things that you can do with your mouth. So I feel like in terms of lip bass, to get it lower, it's more about making the vibration larger. However you decide to do that, shout out to the one and only Isaiah Peterson. Thank you so much for the $10 donation and thank you for helping me with these damn spammers. With lip bass, the the higher that it goes, the the smaller the the vibration becomes. It goes from like being pretty wide to really centralized. Shout out to Michelle Lawson. I missed your last couple of streams due to studies, but I'm glad I cut this one. You're a legend. I hope these tutorial Tuesday and then it's gone. Man, those messages go too fast. I think I could change it. I hope these tutorial Tuesdays go strong. I can stay up later as Wednesday is my day off. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to be staying up real late for this one. Probably not, actually. Um, but uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, for lip bases, the bigger that the vibration is, the lower it's going to be. 
the smaller the vibration is, the higher it's going to be. Shout out to Colby Cheezer coming in with a $6 donation. Yo, Napalm, keep keep up the streams, bro. Of course, Colby Cheezer, I always do. Um, What was I saying? Hide, hide, hide. So, yeah, basically, it's like a synth. Like, for, for everything to work, and I don't know if you guys use synths, but the way that it works is, like, there's... There's small settings. Wow, shout out to Cavity. I will get to your question right after I explain this. And shout out to you bringing us to 69 donations. 69. Um, and I just keep getting sidetracked on this lip base. So, yeah. There's two things at play. Two or three things. So you need to change them all in relation to one another. So I can do lip base for a few seconds on the side and it starts to go away. So yeah, there's a couple things that you need to do in relation to one another for it to work. You know what I mean? Just like a regular synth. So the way that synths work very simply is like you have like five different things. You have a wavelength and then you have an effect, another effect, and another effect it, most of the time it's a lot more uh complicated but like there let's say there's like three things that create a normal blam it's like a synth sound a filter and uh something else whatever it is your mouth works the same way when you're making that lip bass what are the layers that make the sound actually happen <laughs> i'm breathing that's one layer is your lungs are what you know controls the sound that's the base of it not not the b a s s the b a s e it's with your lungs another part that's happening is your tongue can control the resonance of it it almost acts as a little bit of a filter and how your air goes into your lips but if you look while i move my tongue I'm also moving my mouth shape a little bit. So this is where it gets crazy because as you change one thing, you're going to have to change everything a little bit for it to sound good. Otherwise, your harmonies of your breath combined with your mouth shape, combined with your tongue position, combined with this... Everything kind of needs to be in harmony and in unison, which I'm making it sound harder than it is, but it is true. That is how it works. You know what I mean? I might be doing lip, lip rolls, not lip bass. I can't, can't tell what I'm doing anymore. I mean, if you're doing an inward one, then yeah, that's a different story, but it's the same kind of thing. You know, no matter the bass, you want to be able to identify what is actually being made and how like lip bass is very simple one. You're breathing out, you got your lips vibrating, and just a simple mouth position, tongue position, you know. Um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different things. So I think the, the first step to get better for anybody in any situation is to identify what is actually happening. You know, figure out how you're, how you're actually making these sounds, how you're breathing, how your tongue is positioned and figure out what those little changes to it can do to the sound. You want it to be comfortable. You want the sound to feel good. Okay, dokey. I hope that answers your question. There's tons of different ways to do it. I gave you a pretty universal answer. All right, the homie Caverty. My PF and push snares came kind of clean when I first started doing them, but they seem to have gotten worse as I go on now, and I can't get it good again no matter how much I practice it's like my lips don't want to do the kick and the F S H together. Any tips? Yeah, I think uh, P S H isn't a thing in my book. Like I would, I would never ever try to do a C H after a P F snare. It just doesn't. That's just me personally. Maybe there is a cool way to do it. But uh, there's like two types of PF snares for me. Maybe three. One is the P with the F resonance. Straight up just F. Just F. 
and then the other one, which I guess you would call the CH, because it does sound a little bit like it, but I'm not doing a CH position. It's just breath with mouth shape. <laughs> That's uh that's basically it. I think that's what you asked me, right? Yeah, like doesn't sound so good. You know what I mean? And it's not necessarily a kick. It's not a B. It's more of a P. That's why it's a PF, not a It's not a BF. It's pretty interesting I'm getting pretty hungry guys I haven't eaten anything yet today because I drink a bunch of coffee every fucking day and then I don't eat food and then i get super hungry around this time so i'm gonna have to go get some food here pretty soon because uh we're getting pretty starved finally learned slizzer roll today after many months yes how to do trumpet i think there are two versions which one is better it's hard to say which one is better <laughs> yeah so there i mean the first the that one's pretty easy it's like literally just out your lips <laughs> You should be able to do that first try, like, and then the other one, it's like, you gotta do, you gotta put your top teeth into your bottom lip, which creates a certain type of resonance, like, kind of like you're saying F, honestly, like, like, um, but instead put your voice behind it, very, very, very um lightly sixty-nine four twenty. Big shout out to Colby Cheeser coming in with the four dollar and twenty cent donation. In your battle old battle versus D in twenty seventeen, you did a sick liberal combo cinema cover. Yeah. I don't do that one much anymore. Especially hard when you're hungry. But, um, yeah, that's basically a three sound combo. And there's different ways to do it. Um, so it's a kick drum and then inward. And then, uh, inward K behind the lip roll. You don't have to do an inward K, you could also just do another breath. It's like, like an inward N, but I think the inward case sounds a little grimier. Excuse me. We don't see your face. It's getting dark. And when you eat something, if you back to the live, drink some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's about to start. Uh, Use head voice, though. What are you saying, beatbox lion? What are you saying, homie? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to say? I'm trying and failing miserably. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. 
go eat something, man. I am pretty hungry. I can't lie. So I probably am going to stop this stream because I'm hella hungry. So guys, unfortunately for my live stream fam, I'm going to be leaving the country this Sunday for about, oh my gosh. Shout out to a Quinn 93 coming in with a hundred dollar donation. A Quinn 93. My words. Can't even come out of my mouth. Guys, make some noise for a Quinn 93 real quick. Um, so as I was saying, that's definitely a crazy donation to come in. Thank you so much to you, Amber. Thank you. I don't know if you were watching all the stream, but I hope that you learned something today. I hope you did because I'm, I'm teaching it's tutorial Tuesday. I'm teaching a bunch of different stuff. So, um, as I was saying this, uh, Sunday, I'm going to be leaving the country. Um, I'm going to be going to Spain. And if you guys have caught my streams, you know what it's about. I'm not going to say what it's about in this one. If you're, if you know, then you know, because I talk about it sometimes in my streams, the big project I'm working on. So yeah, guys, this Sunday, I'm going to be going to Spain to finally film this crazy project, project, project. Um, it's going to be fucking crazy once everything gets released really like I'm a uh, stream from there. I think I'm going to be way too busy. Honestly, I'm every day I'm filming every single day. Where am I going? I'm going to Spain. Um, maybe porno. <laughs> it's so funny because I was talking about that today like how it could turn into that. It's not, it's a joke, but it's just funny. Um, I mean, how can I say, yo, what's up? And what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is fuck off you spammer. Um, so man, I hate to spam. I hate it. Please go away. What was I saying? The spam actually throws me off. It it really does. Like I I view this spam and then I get I have I get thrown off. <laughs> Honestly, um, it 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 throws me. It should have muted him. No, it's not even your guys' fault because it's like it takes a couple seconds for for it to like get updated. So it doesn't even matter. Like I did it as soon as I possibly could. But really, like, when I just look at the chat and I just see, like, boom, 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 pow, I get a little bit thrown off. Um, But anyways, what I was saying is, so this project, it's going to, it's a really big educational thing. Um, And at the end, end of this year, for sure, maybe even sooner, or the beginning of next year, um, I'm going to be releasing this crazy project. And I really hope, you know, you guys can be a part of it. It's going to be crazy. Maybe put like a five second message time on your stream. I could do that, but I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like giving people the sense of constrictment, you know, like. AK, chill. Um, but yeah, basically. Me. I don't want to put anybody on blast. Or like say anything I'm not supposed to. But basically I'm going to say it anyways. Because it's not like I signed a contract that said I can't fucking talk about it. Or maybe I did actually. Non-disclosure agreement. But I can still give some hints. You know I can tell you guys a little bit of what we're doing. Um. So I'm going to Spain. Chris Salise is going too. Maybe Collapse is going. Maybe Freddie Beats and maybe Pechenkata. Might be a Swiss beatbox project. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. I literally have no idea what I'm talking about. It might be with Swiss beatbox. Today's tutorial Tuesday. But after this project, we're going to have a tutorial quarter of a year. Something like that. It's hard to say. Um... I know I'm saying a lot. I'm saying a lot, a lot. 
Oh, we just got a oh big shout out to a Quinn coming in with another fifty dollar donation. Thank you so much to Amber. You were really too 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 kind. I just got a message from Squanto. Do you guys know Squanto? Dope producer. Oh, he said, want to hop on Zoom? Oh. Hell yeah, man. Anytime. So I just got a text from this really dope producer that's like big in the game. Thank you so much to Aquin. Thank you really so much. Please ask me some questions, Aquin. Today's Tutorial Tuesday. I'm here to help you. Police are on the way. I said too much. No, but really, it's going to be... I'm, I'm excited, guys. It's going to be really dope. I've been working on this project since last, um, August. Who make you make a video about your trip? There will be tons of videos. Don't worry, guys. It's gonna be a whole. It's a whole video project. There might be ninety-two different videos that I have to film while I'm there. There might be. I don't know. I literally don't know anything. But there, it's possible that maybe I'm gonna be filming ninety-two videos in Spain. Possibly. And maybe I've already said too much. I've already said too much. How long will I be in Spain? Uh, like, um, oh, ow, my arm cramping up. Two weeks, two weeks, like 20 days. It's, it's a big project. And I really don't want to say too much about it, but at the same time, I love teasing a little bit, Thomas, you already know, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be very hype about this because it's up the same alley as tutorial Tuesday. Why Spain, though? That's, uh, I can't say. No, it's it's honestly just where the videographer is based, I'm pretty sure. The videographing team. So, yeah, it's going to be very sick. I hope you guys will enjoy. I wish maybe Tell will bring back tutorials. I don't know what you're saying. But maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do I have to quarantine at all? Yeah, I have to get tested tomorrow. Just some guy. Yeah, most battles, you have to pay for, like, your own flight. You know, your sometimes your own hotel room. Like, Swiss Beatbox, they get the hotel for everybody. But most of the time, if you're just joining a battle, you'll, uh, have, to, you'll have to pay for your own stuff. There's one really sick battle, uh, the Vocal Total, 
where, I mean, you still have to buy your own flight, but you get a hundred bucks just for winning a wild card. And then if you win your top four battle or top eight battle, you get 200 bucks. If you win your semifinal, you get 300. And then if you win the final, you get 400, like on top, on top of it, it just keeps adding on top. So that's a really cool concept. Everybody makes a little bit of cash. You know what I mean? Definitely cool. Is there anybody here? Hey, Palm, I want to meet up with you after COVID. I mean, it depends. make money if you have to pay for the flight and food no not really tim that's that's most of the time no What? You said boom, boom. <laughs> Wait, wait. You said boom. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I should call her. H45S, yes you should. And if you are actually calling your ex and you want to do it live on stream, we can do a group call. I can literally Dr. Phil you and your ex right now live on stream we can do it i'll be here i'll do it i'll i'm willing to help you guys make your relationship better i will dr phil the fuck out of you guys just let me know fucking funky the patient snare. A big one. Nope. I gotta stop it. See? There they come it gets to the point where it's like too much. It's like stop doing it. Alright, we've heard enough. And that was the point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
in my recommended shout out to tizzy stark i'm popping up in your recommend so soft that's how it is it's all about the frequency all right guys you guys keep reminding me i'm hungry as fuck i think i need to go get some food i've been streaming for an hour and 40 minutes this has been your tutorial tuesday ladies and gentlemen but i think it's time for me to go get some damn food i need to get some dinner i'm hungry and uh you know beatboxers they need to eat like I said, guys, that next Sunday, I'm going to be going to Spain, so I'm not going to be able to stream for a while. So pretty much every day this week after today, I'm going to be streaming. So make sure you check me out tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and maybe Saturday for the last chance until I leave. Um, but yeah, I'll be here streaming. I'll start early tomorrow. I'll do a stream around like 12, 12 p.m. EST. So make sure you guys come check it out. See you guys. Shout out to all of you. Peace out, guys. Big shout out one more time to our Quinn, Colby, Cheezer, Caverty, Michelle Lawson, Isaiah, Razzit Edits, Jarvis, Soshi J, Foot Danny, Bawali, Jez, Centrosity, Smoke, Stevie. Shout out to all of you for today thank you guys so much for donating peace out guys have a fantastic night